Cleveland area man is making a name for himself by eating the unthinkable. It's graphic and you don't want to try this at home. Fox 8 News reporter Mark Zinni has the story that comes with a warning. For 27 year old Jimmy Coffin, dinner is served. Nope, you are not seeing things. Jimmy has made a name for himself eating glass. And this is something you don't want to try at home. Oh yeah, of course I tell people not to do it because they take my job. His job involves a little fire breathing, <laughs> squeezing his body through a tennis racket, and a lot of nose tricks, using both a sharp knife and even a nail. As part of the Cleveland-based Variety Act infusion, Jimmy pushes the limits, to say the least. I was always fascinated by Sideshow. Um, from a little kid seeing it on TV. If you ever get to hang out with him for any amount of time, you realize that that's just him. What he does, it's his thing. Mia McGee is also part of Infusion, which has a dozen members. She doesn't eat glass, but she does turn up the heat with a little grinding. When they use a power saw to light up the night. Jenna Lewski is an original member of the three-year-old act. I'm an LPN too, so the medical standpoint, everybody's, you know, had their tetanus shots and we're ready for first aid care in case anything happens. And when you're doing these things, anything can happen. Most of what I do is just experiment, trial and error. Most, hopefully, very little error. Now, Jimmy's done this before. He's eaten more than 300 light bulbs and 100 glasses. A lot of people think that it's really a mental thing. You go to a different place. In reality, it's just knowing what's going to happen and being prepared for it. Dr. Jeffrey Janata has a different take on it. He's an associate professor of psychiatry at university hospitals. It stands to reason that there is there's danger in eating substances that could potentially cause damage and glass is certainly one of those. Dr. Janata says eating glass can be a cry for help or attention, but it can also be pica, which is when people crave things that aren't food. It's not a pica. It's not pica. Um, it's more of an attention thing. No doubt this will get you some attention, but it can also kill you. So don't give it a try. In Cleveland, Mark Zinni, Fox 8 News. You can see Jimmy Coffin and Infusion on stage throughout Northeast Ohio. For more information, we have that at fox8.com. Look under Scene on TV.